All right. Now we're gonna actually I have to put you up back level with the airlock. So okay, just all right. There you go. So we're literally sliding you in foot first um, into the. It's like a reverse. Think of it as a reverse birth. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're putting you back in. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. It's gonna be a bit claustrophobic inside the airlock. So, yep. I hope I hope you're not claustrophobic. It's gonna be like getting in. It's gonna be like the equivalent of climbing into like a cat scan. Um. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a slight push. We're gonna put you into the airlock. All right, okay, so can you help me with this a bit? Yep. All right, let's just cram him in there. All right, there you go. All right, he's in. Now uh, you got, got bars on your side to hold on a bit. Um. All right, now we're gonna rest your head on the rest your head on the back and don't move back. All right, just stay right, stay right where you are. All right, Casey, okay, so let's get the hatch we're closed. Rest your head on hatch the, is closed. Rest your head on the back and don't move back. Oh my god, what did he watch and do this so loud? Uh, yeah, don't, don't ask what that is. Alright. Alright, there you go. Alright, now let's pressurize the hatch shut. Uh huh. Uh, we're gonna start pressurizing the hatch. It should take a few minutes, because we don't want to, like, suddenly pressurize. Um, actually, no, we, we're depressurizing the hatch, aren't we? Well, not yet. Oh, alright. Yeah. All right, all right. Just rotate this handle counterclockwise. All right, all right. Handle is rotated. All right, hatch is pressurized. All right, um, good work, Kyle. All right, all right. All right, how do you hear me? Yeah, okay, so your mic's getting a little weird, but uh, all right. How do you hear me, Bryce? All right, can you hear All me right. good or not? All right, we're going to be guiding you throughout this mission. We are ISS control. Um, All righty. So, Bryce, here's the deal. You're now enclosed inside the airlock. You know, if you look down, or if you look just by your feet, the other hatch you see is the only thing between you and, um, and the vacuum of space. And behind you is the vat is the hatch that's sealed, which allows you to enter the ISS. You're enclosed between both of them. All right. Um, now, Br Bryce, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start dropping pressure inside the hatch. Um, so confirm you're ready to start dropping pressure. It might feel a little bit weird. At at one point, you might get a little bit lightheaded. Um, alright, but don't worry, if you get a bit lightheaded, it will only last for a couple of moments, uh, most likely, and then it'll be fine. It's just because of the drop in pressure. Alright, Casey, okay, so confirm you're ready to start, um, airlock depressurization. We are ready to start, uh, not we, but I am ready to start airlock depressurization. Alright, all right, let's lower it about 10 notches initially. 10 notches, confirm? Yeah. All right, roger that. Lowering it to 10 notches. All right, this will bring us down to about 13 p. All right. All right, let's drop it to 12 p. All right, dropping to 12 psi. Eleven. All right. All right. All right. We've dropped it thirty notches. How are you feeling in there? We went. We're now at twelve psi of pressure. All right. All right. Drop it to ten psi. All right. Dropping to ten psi. All right. 
We just did a 20 notch instant drop. Um, all right, nine PSI. You should, uh, all right, drop it to nine PSI and you'll hear a few loud bangs. And that is basically oxygen slowly being released from the, um, uh, from the airlock. So if you hear a few bangs, then, uh, just don't worry. All right, seven PSI. Dropping down to seven PSI. All right. Five. Setting to five. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I'm keeping track of his vitals back here. All right. His heart rate's starting to elevate. Let's drop it a little bit less. Um, drop mm -hmm. it to four. Drop it about four and a half PSI. All right. I'll drop down to four and a half PSI. All right, all right, Bryce. Your uh, heart rate's getting a little jumpy. Just uh, stay relaxed. Where uh, you might not even be nervous. The the um the uh, jump in your heart rate might actually be a side effect of um, the rapid loss of pressure. But uh, all right. All right, I'll keep track of his vitals. Let's drop it to three PSI. Dropping down to three PSI. All right. Two and a half. Two and a half PSI. All right. We're nearly fully depressurized. How are you doing in there? Are you still feeling good? All right. All right. Two PSI. Alright, dropping down to 2 PSI. Alright, his heart rate's coming down again, so we're looking good. Alright, drop down to 1 PSI. 1 PSI. Alright. we got 1 pound per square inch of pressure to drop, and then we'll be fully depressurized. Alright, drop it down to 0. 0.5. Dropping down to 0. 0.5. All right, All right. 0.5. All right, drop down to 0. 0.3. All right, down to 0. 0.3. All right, we're at 0. 0.3 PSI. You still feeling good in there? All right. All right, uh, 0. 0.2. Dropping down to 0. 0.2. All right, we're looking good. 0. 0.1. We're now at point one. We're All almost right. fully depressurized. And let's bring it down to zero pressure. All right, it's now at zero. All right, confirm we're at zero PSI. We are at zero PSI. All right, Bryce, we're at zero PSI. We've fully depressurized the airlock. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and depressurize the exterior hatch. All right. Confirm when exterior hatch is depressurized. Exterior hatch has been depressurized. All right. Now let's open it, and it'll be good. Um. All right, Bryce, we're ready to go ahead and open the exterior hatch vacuum. Are you ready? You ready for this, Bryce? Alright, here, I got this one. Okay, and there we go, the hatch should be opening. Alrighty. And check that out through the window. Alright, Bryce, you're now exposed to the vacuum of space. Just stay put for... Alright, okay, see, so how's his vitals looking? His vitals are looking good. Um, though his heart rate, or his heart rate is a little, little bit high. I mean, I presume that's because, you know, this is his first time in space, so, you know, just seeing it all for the first time, you know, might be a little yeah. scary. Alright. It looks like his body is adapted to the depressurization, so I don't want applications with that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, uh... Now, of course, you're going to be 
uh, tethered in a bit. Um, however, you're currently just free. Um, now what you're gonna, now what we're gonna want to do in a couple minutes here, you have to be really careful when you is, you'll see a line of bars going across Quest. Now, once you go out there, you have to hold on to those bars. If you don't, and if you let go unexpectedly, you'll float off into space because you'll have nothing holding you back. Once you get outside of the airlock, you'll see a bunch of ropes and a bunch of tethers. These are what will hold you down to the station. Um, now, these, these tethers can be shifted around and adjusted at whatever rate you want to bring you further out. Come on, Spot. Come on. Oh my gosh. Spot, please. Come on. Yeah, his dog is destroying him right now. Yeah, he's doing the thing again. Huh. All right. All right, so well, uh, it looks like we're we're good to do that. All right. I, I wonder All if right. we can see him from Cupola or Cupola. No, it's on the other side of the station. That's true. I mean, yeah, never mind. Yeah. All right. All right, I got him on the camera. Mm -hmm. All right, now whenever whenever you're ready, Bryce. You gotta hold on tight, but just climb out and move around. Left. Left, not right. Man, that must be a great up. Alright, um, I'm out of the, er, not out of the airlock, I'm moving out of the airlock module, um. Alright. Now, are we just gonna leave the hatch, exterior hatch open? Alright. For, for now, do you just want to? I mean, actually, we might need to close the hatch house, Emily might be joining, uh, uh, on the space Oh, later. yeah. Alright, um, you might hear... Uh, you might you might see a little movement but out of the corner of your eye, Bryce. Don't worry, that's just us closing the exterior. Alright. Alright, exterior hatch just closing that. Roger that. Once it's closed, we'll begin slowly repressurizing it, making sure that it's fully sealed and that it does not pose a threat to the station. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll be... I'll... I'll handle monitoring him. Uh, you you focus on uh, returning the hatch to normal pressure. Alrighty, we'll do. Alrighty. All right, Bryce. How close are you to the tethers? Wait a minute. Are we just gonna right. actually wait? What if we just uh, What if we just hook them in the can? Say again. What if we hook them in the Canadarm too? Uh, we could do that. Um. All right. I mean, well, but it depends on it depends on what he needs to work on for today's EVA. Well, we're trying to get him over to Harmony. I see. Yeah. All right, Bryce. Don't tether yourself in yet. We, we might actually be hooking you up to Canadarm too. All right, and we'll we'll use Kaido's robotic arm to um to un to oh crap I actually have to do that. All right um all right Kyle you stay here at Quest I'm gonna head over to Harmony. All right Roger that. Uh I'm repressurizing the airlock right now. All right Roger. All right let's fill her up slowly now at five psi. All right. Once you finish that, head back to uh, head to Destiny, Kyle, and you can then head to the Canadarm Two workstation. Roger that. Ten psi. All right. So yeah, Kyle, you're gonna be you're gonna be the one uh, controlling Canadarm Two. Roger that. Um, where again is the Can uh, Canadarm Arm Two uh, control station again? It's in Destiny. All right. Roger that. Alright, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be controlling Kaido's robotic arm. Alright, hold on. 26 PSI? 
All right, we we're only trying to get it to 14 psi. Oh, only 14. All right, then never mind. <laughs> so you've actually, yeah, if it's at this point, you've actually over pressure. Okay, let me uh, let me depressurize it a bit. Sorry. All right, all right, yeah, we're good at uh, 14. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna move to Destiny, right now. Yeah, and I'm headed to... I'll inform you when I'm in Destiny. Alright, Raj. Alright, Raj, that. I'm now out of the quest airlock. I'm moving towards Destiny right now. Alright, we can't. Yeah, yeah we, just, uh, we can't do that right now, Emily, but we'll do that in a minute. We first gotta get him over to Harmony. Alright, here's the deal, Bryce. Okay, uh, Kyle's gonna be using Canada Arm 2 to bring you over to. Once you're at Harmony, you'll get detached, and then you'll have to tether to the side, and that's where you'll stay. And then we'll do the we'll be doing the same process with Emily once she gets out here. Alrighty, uh, I think I'm in Destiny. Alright. Right now I'm in Node. Wait. Right now I'm just outside of Node Two, so yeah, I should be in Destiny right now. Alright, let me find the control station. Mm-hmm. Alright, and uh, I... Yeah, you should be able to find the control station. Yeah. Uh... Oh. My dog did. Where is the control station? Alright. Hold on, I'm almost in Kaido. Alright, let me find it. Uh, what does it look like? Because I got like five computers on the walls. It's like Mars. You should be able to find it. It's like what? It's on the left side from Quest. You should be able to find it. It's, it's got right. like a. It's got like a side stick. Uh huh. Oh, it's Kaiba. Okay. Alright, I'm in Kaiba. Alright, here we go. Alright, I've reached Kaibo's robotic arm, so I work. Mm hmm. Alright. I think. I think I found it. Here, Emily, I get one of the Expedition 58 crew members to help you. Alright, yeah, I think I found it. Alright, it's not that hard to find, it's like, just... Are you sure it's in Quest? I always thought the Canada, uh, Canada arm thing was in, uh, 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 cu Cupola. No, I, I Canada arm 2's workstation is Destiny. Oh, alright. Didn't know that. Did you find it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yep, I think I found it. Alrighty. Let's see where we're currently. Alright, we're currently just passing by Mexico. Alrighty. How's the view, Bryce? Yeah, I'm in Destiny. 
All right, let's get. Right, did let's. Find, did yeah. Did you find the troll fish? Okay, you did. Yeah. All right. So I'll just power that, that up, and then it'll bring it to an on. Mhm. Mm All right, I'm starting to power it up. All right, Roger. Alright, before we do this, I'm uh, powered up the Kaibo arm workstation and I'm, I'm gonna be undocking Dragon. Alright. Hold on, I gotta head into Harmony first. Alright. I first gotta depressurize um, Harmony's ha uh, hatch. Alright. All right, the, uh, the hatch is depressurized, so Dragon's now eligible to be undocked. All right, Roger that. So we're moving Dragon, confirm. Or yeah. All right. All right. Um, I'm now headed back to Kaibo. Mhm. Mm I'm on standby at uh, the uh, control uh, control station for Canada Arm. All right, we're actually we're gonna be bringing Kaibo's gonna be bringing um, Dragon over to Destiny where you are, so you'll see it. Uh, it's like it's gonna be bringing it over to that area and just holding it because we're just birthing it. All right, so uh, do you need help closing the lock, uh, airlock? They're not airlock, sorry. The uh, um, yeah, the airlock uh, before we undock uh, Dragon. Uh, no, I got that on my own. All righty. All right, and you're all right. I'm gonna be removing dragon now. I'll. Uh, all right, I'm moving. All right, I have control of the Kaibo robotic arm. Roger that. You have control of the Kaibo robotic arm. All right, maneuvering it now. All um, right, they're gonna open the dragon. I'll advise when we birthed with dragon. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's dragon. You just gotta be really careful with it. Alright, so right. we got. Alright. Alright, we've birthed. Roger that. Alright, I'm now gonna be headed back to. Um, I'm now headed back to Harmony because now I have to actually undock. Roger. Mm -hmm. So, Kai, Kai, the Kaiba robotic arm will hold it into place after I undock it, so it won't just fly off. The... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. And there we go, it's now undocked. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Alright, I'm now headed back to Kaibo. Uh huh. We're not even gonna be. Like, Dragon isn't even online, we're just moving it. Yeah. Yeah. We do ha actually have to to fit it into the tight area by discover or excuse me by destiny. We're actually going to be retracting its solar panels. I see. All right, I'll advise when that happens. Oh wait, there we go. Emily left. What? Rip. All right. How you doing? All right. Going back? Like... All right. We're we're doing good. All right. Retracting its arms now. I've powered up its um. I've powered up its hydraulics just so we can retract. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Solar panels are coming back now. How's Bryce doing now? Yeah, Bryce, how are you doing? Um, you feel comfortable in zero gravity? Float, uh, not floating, but like 
holding onto the side of the space station in space. I mean, it's probably not too comfortable right now because <laughs> while well, yeah. you're really you're currently you're hanging onto a bar for dear life off the side of a space station. Pretty much. While we try to grab you with a, ro a robotic arm. Alright. You can start, um, have you powered up Canada Arm too? Yeah, Canada Arm is powered up. Alright, you can start maneuvering it over to Bryce, just keep him... I'm giving comms, primary comms of Bryce over to you since you're going to be working with him. Alright, roger that. I, yeah, I'm actually going to mute myself while I focus on my job so you can talk to him and get that figured out. Alrighty. All right, let's start maneuvering, uh, maneuvering the Canada arm over to Bryce. Uh, Bryce, there's a little attachment point on the very tip of the Canada arm where you would basically attach your feet. Um, I'm moving it closer to you right now. Can you see it? Uh, Bryce? Com check. Alright, Roger that. Alright, it's like about maybe two feet away from you. Uh Alright, now here here comes the scary part. Um I think you might want to attach a tether to the pole that you're holding on to real quick because you're gonna need both of your hands to attach you to the tip of the arm. Alright, tell me when you got a tether attached. Alright, you, you got them attached now. Alright, now I'm going to start move, maneuvering you away from the space station. It's going to feel... Uh, a little awkward because you know you're not really in control of where you're going but i'm gonna start moving you uh over towards i believe god Bell instructed me to move you over towards uh the japanese research module if i'm not mistaken harmony oh harmony all right sorry all right so i'm gonna start maneuvering you to harmony and uh Alright, yeah, wait, I'm gonna just try to get clear of hazard, I'll let you- Just get him attached, but don't start maneuvering him. Alright. Hold on, I'm focusing on getting Dragon into the area we want. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm actually gonna be temporarily- we're gonna be docking Dragon with a with a docking port on Destiny. However, we're not gonna be pressurizing it, so it's a very temporary docking station. I see. All right, all right. I'm moving in for the dock now. I'm just trying to line it up. I gotta slow it down a little. Bit. There you go. All right. So, Casey, okay, so yeah, it turns out you and me were both heavily involved in this spacewalk as well, but from the inside. I mean, all crews on the International Space Station are. You know, I've, I've been expecting this anyways. Yeah. Well, same here. I wasn't sure if you... Yeah. Currently, right. as you can see on screen, Bryce is on the very far left bottom on this little module right here, and that is the Quest Airlock. We're going to maneuver him over to the Harmony... Uh, module where I believe Godbelt will pick him up with Kaibo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Kaibo robotic arm. Basically, it's like playing Tarzan but with a robotic arms. Or well, we're not hooking up to Kaibo. From there, he's going to be tethering himself to Harmony. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. All right. Um, because he'll be at Harmony for the next couple of hours. Mhm. Mm yeah. Looks like we probably will be able to play. Uh, we have hard dock with Dragon. Dragon is docked to Destiny now. 
Alrighty, Roger that. Tell me when you want me to start maneuvering him over to uh, uh, Harmony. All right, Casey, you're um, you're clear to begin maneuvering, Bryce. Roger that, Bryce. Uh, I'm gonna start maneuvering you over to Harmony, and there I believe you'll tether yourself to uh, the side of that module, and then there you'll begin your work. All right. Once we get into Harmony, it looks like we're gonna be replacing Emily members of. STS. Oh, excuse me, Expedition 58. It's gonna be Nick Hague. All right. While you do that, Kyle, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be headed into Harmony. Actually, one module over, and I'm gonna start. Or excuse me, I'm gonna be headed to Destiny, uh, to the crew quarters. I'm gonna get Nick Hague, and then I'll be taking him over to Quest, and I'm actually gonna start getting him. Too. All right, Roger that. All right, I'm yep. maneuvering you right now, uh, Brace, over to Harmony. Um, uh, so yeah. Alright, so there's been a sudden change of crew. Emily, who is Mission Specialist 1 on STS-130, has been replaced by the commander of Expedition 58, Nick So we got to do the same thing with Nick. Yeah, I'll meet up with him in the airlock once I got Bryce over. I'm, um, I'm, he's pretty close to Harmony right now. Um. Yeah. Well, he should be actually, he should be right, almost, well, you're right by the crew quarters, so I'm actually, alright, hey, Kyle. Alright, hey, man, what's up? Alright, huh? so yeah, Bryce is now, basically, he's within arm, re arm length of Harmony, um. So I'll try moving you a little bit closer, Bryce, and then from there you're going to attach a, uh, a tether, and then you're going to detach yourself from the arm. Does that sound good? Alright. And I think you can grab onto Harmony right now. Can you reach it? Alright. So, uh, first attach tether to harmonies. There's a little handrail. You can attach a tether to that. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, just hold on to the handrail. You'll see a little. It's sort of. It looks like a really large sort of um, like strap in, and you just sort of go into it, and you'll just get tethered to the station. Yeah. After that, you'll no longer, you'll no longer have to worry about floating off into the vacuum of space. Mm -hmm. As cool as that would be. Alright, tell me when you're fully <laughs> attached so that I can detach the Canada arm. So yeah, the Canada, Canada arm 2 is... Keep in mind, KDC, this isn't regular Canada arm, this is Canada arm 2. Alright. Yeah. Roger that. Alright, um... Yeah. All right. Um, advise Bryce when you've detached your feet from Canada or from the Canada Arm Two. Once that's done, I'll maneuver the Canada Arm back to the airlock. So, uh, and then I'll meet up with you. Unless, do you think you can handle Nick Hague, um by yourself, or do you think you need help uh, suiting him up? Uh, I got this. It'll right, take a bit. It'll take a bit longer, but I got it. All right. All right. All right. So. All right. So Bryce is. We just got confirmation. Are you live streaming, KZ? Yeah, I am live streaming this right now. Okay. Are there any viewers? Yeah, there's like four. There's what? There's like two right now. All right. Hello, everyone. Watching the live. Yeah, this is a pretty small channel, but hopefully it'll grow. Um. So. So now he's fully detached from Canada Arm. I'll start maneuvering him over to, or it's not not him. I'll start maneuvering Canada Arm, uh, or the arm over to Quest, so we can do this whole thing again with uh, Nick Hague. All right, and I'll monitor. Um, Bryce says he. All right, Bryce, how are you doing on tethering to Harmony? You also notice as you look in the, at the handrail of Harmony, there's these little holes or like little holes in the side of the uh, fuse. I wouldn't say fuse lodge, but like like outside of the space station. And that is from micro de um, micro orbital debris. 
And it, it won't pose any harm to you, they're just very small fragments. Yes, well, speaking of that, the second part of this mission is the repair of it. We're, we're already about 30, we're about 30 minutes into the evening. Yeah. Alright, the mm -hmm. arm is now back at Quest. Standing by for Nick Hague. Alright. Alright, Nick, you're looking good. All right, hey Kyle. All right, Nick is suited up. We've got all the systems running. All right, Nick, you need more oxygen. You know what to do. All right. So, um, this is also Nick Hague's first spacewalk as well. Um, yeah. As this is Nick Hague's first. Um. All right. We gotta do the same thing. All right. We just got confirmation, Kyle, that Bryce is tethered with harm. All right, Bryce. Now we don't want you to do anything. Now just sit. For now, just um, sit there and enjoy the view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We're putting. All right. Next, going into the hat. Mhm. Mm all right. All right. Next in the hatch. Or next in the airlock. All right, let's right. close the let's close the interior hat. Where's that? I'll be standing by for when he gets outside. All right. All right now. All right, interior hatch is closed. Confirmed interior hatch pressurized. Uh. Right now I'm over at, uh, right now I'm over in, uh, the, uh, the arm operating station. So. Oh, you didn't come, I thought you said you were coming oh, back wait, to I thought, quest. Oh, never mind. I thought you, oh. never mind. I thought you said that you had it by yourself, so I was, like, waiting at the, uh, get my go over. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna need, um, uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna need a bit of help at quest. Yeah, Roger the heading over there right now. Yeah. Almost there. Exiting the Alright. Alright, hey Kyle. Alright, hey, what's up? Yeah, I can I needed you because you were like all the statistics on on the hatch. So, can you confirm that the hatch is pressurized? Yep, the hatch is pressurized right now. Alright, then, ah. Uh, you're secure in the airlock. Alright, next secure. Oh, Emily's here. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 so, god. Uh, should we just pretend? Oh, god. Alright, um. You know Alright, uh, looks like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nick, sorry, like we're bringing you back out. Alright. And we just put Nick K. We didn't think you were coming back, so we just replaced you. But, um, this one's not gonna go again because we kind of just take him out and put you in instead. Okay. And I hope that's a promise because uh, if you do leave again, Spacewalk will be. Cancelled, and we'll have to call we'll have to... Um, him. Uh, all right, nice. All right, so Nick, you're not gonna like it, but we're bringing you back out. Our uh, original crew members. All right, let's depressurize the interior hatch. Say again. Uh, so let's uh, depressurize the interior hatch. All right, roger that. Doing that now. All right, Nick, coming back out. As Emily comes by, Nick gives her an extremely dirty look, <laughs> like, like, he want, like he wants to freaking die. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, all right, Emily, we got the uh, hatch open, so just climb in because you got your suit already, right? Did Anne help you? I think it might have been Anne, because she was over in that area. Okay. All right. Alright, just climb in. 
and just uh, don't move. Keep your feet away. Keep your feet away from the exterior, and keep your head away from the interior. As in the case of an explosion, oh, actually, I'm not going to tell you. That. <laughs> I'll probably. Huh. Hey, well, okay, you want me to explain it? Alright, so basically the reason why we do that is because in the case of an explosive deco uh, you won't get torn apart by shrapnel. Instead, you'll just get sucked out in space. Mm -hmm. In the and case that you get sucked out. Never mind. Alright. Alright, let's pressurize the hat. Margin that. Doing that now. Are you pressurizing? All right. All right. Emily, you're now secured inside the airlock. The only thing that separates you from the vacuum of space. Um. It. It. Spot, please. Come on. I'll be Dude. standing by My... to uh, decompress the airlock as I did with uh, Bryce. Yeah. Start depressurizing. All right. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright. Alright. So, Depress yeah, Emily, we're gonna start. We're starting to depressurize the airlock now. Which 10 will get PSI. Alright. And, um, basically, if you Seven. start feeling lightheaded, that is because of the loss in pressure. Um. Alright, all right, um, Emily's, vitals, Emily's vitals are looking. Roger. 6.2. Mm -hmm. Alright. Five. Alright. Alright. <laughs> That's odd. Emily's Four. actually experiencing <laughs> Emily's actually experiencing a slowdown of heart. Strange. Maybe she's like Yuri G Gagarin, who's like extremely <laughs> calm. Yeah, Emily, right. you might not even just like how Bryce experienced an increase in it's pr it's probably a side effect of rapid loss of pressure yeah all right now we're dropped it dropping down now to three two point th uh, two point two sorry all right now we're at one dropping down right, to well. point seven we're almost at a full vacuum Point three, point two, point one, and now we're at zero. We're now in a full vacuum. All right, Emily, we are now in a vacuum. We're at zero psi. All right, Emily, um, we're gonna be depressure. We're gonna be depressurizing the exterior. Hand. All right, Casey, okay, so go ahead and uh, depressurize the exterior. Roger that. Depressurizing. Alrighty. Confirmed when it is depressurized. Alright. Alrighty. Emily fully uh quest is now fully depressurized. We're ready to open up the and expose the vacuum space. Now we just need to confirm you. Are you ready, Emily? All right, we're go for we're go for hatch opening. Go ahead and open up that exterior. Roger that. All right, there goes that. All right, Emily, door should be opening. As you see outside, you'll see a robotic arm that's just sitting out there. Um, first, you want to attach a tether to uh, tether yourself down to the uh, to the side of the station so you don't float off. Then you're going to you attach your feet onto the very tip of that robotic arm so we can maneuver you. Yeah, we're not tethering to... Er uh, yeah, you're going to want to... Alright, so here's the deal, Emily. <laughs> Don't move just so the hatch is... We do have confirmation that the hatch is full. Um, also, you don't have to keep on saying, okay. Um, just... <laughs> Alright, but... um, Basically... You're gonna want to go to the left. After there's uh, handrails on the side of the Quest. Just follow those and keep yourself to the station. Um, don't let yourself. Okay, seriously. Uh, the okay things like. Um, 
Alright, and um... You're then gonna want to just hold on there and then Cannon Arm will come over to you. And then you want to um... Uh, attach your uh, boots into the uh, grasp of Cannon Arm and you'll be from there. The left side, you want to exit to the left. All right, so you can do that whenever you're ready. And in case they change the plan, I gotta go do something for a minute. So um, I'll stay here at Quest and monitor Emily as she does this. Uh, you head back to Destiny and get back on the controls of Emily. Emily, how are you feeling out there? Better. <laughs> Isn't the view terrific? Yeah, isn't it beautiful? I mean, except for the fact that so if you do let go, it will just crack you. But, uh, alright. I'll be right back. Also, I'm not trying to scare. <laughs> All Alright, I'm back. I'm just gonna be eating dinner, so I'm gonna have my mic muted just at me in case you yeah, because I'm still gonna be listening in. I'm watching from Quest. I'm gonna be moving over to Harmony.
Alright, Roger. Okay, so they're both attached. Sounds good. Alrighty. So. Now, okay, so we have one final thing to do before um, they can get to work. We actually have to... We actually have to get Ida 1 out there now. Alrighty. Alright. Alright, Emily, Bryce, how's it looking out there? Alright. Which one of you two are closest to the airline? Alright, mic check, mic check, mic check. Alright, hey, okay, so, hey, negative zero. Alright, Emily, Bryce, which one of you is closest? Okay. Alright, Bryce, if you look off, you'll see that that's what we're replaced, or that's what we're up. Alright, now, say we have to do this for a third time. However, this time, we're not transporting a person, we're, we're transporting, transporting a... Or, no, we're transporting a docking a deck. Yeah, so. Yeah. Alright. So, Idol 1 is currently being kept in storage um, in the Leonardo MPA. Or, excuse me, actually, no, it wouldn't be that far wall place stands because we're... Actually, if anything, Idol 1's probably already being... It's been kept in quest. Alright, KCA, so you see this big <laughs> part of, that looks like part of the wall? Yeah. This isn't actually part of the wall. As you can see, there are, um, there are connecting hooks on the back of it. This is actually um, yesterday. Yesterday, I transported it from its place in um, deep storage inside Leonardo um, over here into Quest to get it ready for the walk. All right. All right. So now we have to put this thing through the air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so here if you can just—it's—it's it's really not that. It's not that big. It's not that. Heavy. And so it's actually—it's much. This is actually much easier to get into the air than a human. All right, I'll start heading over to the airlock. Or quest. Now, now you have to be precise and deep, so you can just do a full deep instantly. All righty, we'll do. Yeah, I'll go over to uh, Quest to help you out. They, they would basically, they would die. Very good. Alright. Now, the thing about this, as soon as you get it out and off, and so what you have to do, as soon as it gets out, you actually quickly, using strictly the Canadarm 2, no help from Ida 1. You have to get it attached to Canada Arm 2. Alright. So, no pressure, KC, but if you mess up catching this, we could look back in the space. Uh, Emily is at Harmony. She would have to transverse across almost like, I don't know. Yeah, Emily, like you can't five just. modules just to get here. Yeah, Emily, you can't just help us. If, if you wanted to help out with this, you'd we'd have to take another 30 minutes getting you back to Quest. Yeah, I mean, you guys are going to be up here for like two hours, so. Yeah. Or three it and takes a half hours, a, actually. Yeah, it takes a, yeah, it takes a very long time to train people around the station from the outside. Actually, we're almost in, the, yeah, we're already in basically an hour into the EVA and the actual... Uh, the actual EVA operations haven't even started yet. Yeah, we're literally just getting started. <laughs> Alright. Alright, okay, so we're in. Um, interior hatch is pressurized. Alright, I'll now move over to Quest right now. Yeah. Alright, you can go ahead and depressurize the airlock. Oh, wait, actually, you're not in here right now, so... <laughs> I can give off for getting your... Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. very hard to miss. Yeah. Emily, this takes Emily. This takes time. You can't, you can't just. We're yeah, not gonna no, rush. No, no. It, it takes you like at least ten minutes just to move, maybe like I don't know, five feet in a spacesuit because it's so. 
I don't know, but yeah. 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 Well, now you guys probably understand why this spacewalk is slated to be four hours. All right. Patience is a virtue. Thank you for that negative. All right. And airlock is depressurized. So, are you ready? Are you ready at Canada Arm Two? Yes. This is gonna be like Interstellar, but eight times better. All right. Now I'm not. So we can actually get a little bit of thrust to to the vacuum. I'm not actually. Once I open it, I'm going to start pressurizing it on the spot while it's open. And what that will do? Not too. That will not cause an explosive decompression. It will cause a ra it will cause a rapid decompression. However, because it starts to turn into a literal, it will actually create thrust. Sort of, it will create it will create invisible thrust, which will um, actually so Ida one will get sucked out into the vacuum as opposed to having been transported out. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I've turned down the pressure to a mere 0.5 psi, and right, so this, yeah, this will allow for enough of a decompression where it won't be an explosive. It won't be an explosive decompression, but it won't also be low enough that the thing. This should, this should give it a push out of the um out of the quest. Roger. All right, Canada Arm All right. is ready. All right, so you ready for this? Because this is going to be really quick cap. Yeah, let's do this. All right, don't mess this up, kids. <laughs> yeah. All right, exterior airlock, exterior hatch is depressurized. We're ready to open. Roger that. You're built for opening. All right, you let's ready? Do this. Yes. All right, opening now. What is that? Can our arm is moving in? And... All right, I can... I can almost see the pressure building up. All right, there goes idle one. It just got, it just got nudged out. Roger that. And you see it. We have capture. All right, you have capture. Yep. All right, Roger. We have capture. I can, yeah. Confirm we have um, nominal. It's nominal. All right. All right, good job, KC. Okay, we've um, we've successfully captured Ida One. Yep. All right. Now, KC, okay, you just gotta. Now, the only thing you gotta do is um, move it over to Harmony. Watch that. We'll do it now. All right. Except you're not. Um, now, this will actually require a lot of effort um, because. You're gonna have to be positioning it into place while the astronauts are gonna be simultaneously, um, the astronauts are gonna be simultaneously locking it into place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna mute myself again so I can eat my dinner. So right. Yeah, just keep on maneuvering it. And since you've been talking, so I don't have to check. check. Alrighty, I'm moving it now. Uh, Emily and Bryce, be ready to, uh, uh, be ready to try locking it into place. Uh, I will be supporting you guys with the robotic arm, and let's do this. Alright. And you can see it to your right as it's, like, coming, kind of, like, past, kind of, like, around the corner of the module. Yeah. Keep in mind, KC, they're not instantly locking into place. So we've got an app. Yeah. All right. So actually, after you position, you're just gonna position it over, over the port, and then. Mm -hmm. So, Bryce is the one closest to the port. All right, Bryce, you're actually going to be um extending your um. Emily, you're gonna to want to stay put right with But Bryce, you you will be extending your tether, and then you will want to get, you're gonna go over the stage, over the over the top of it, um, and then come back down on the other side. So you'll actually be on the other. So we'll have two astronauts on on uh, both sides of. Uh, Emily, you're just staying put for now, since um, Bryce is the close forward. 
So from the inside of the station, if you're looking from the perspective of looking from the inside out, Emily will be on the right side of, the, of Harmony and Bryce will be on the left. Alrighty. Um, right, um, nice. yeah, just don't, don't do that quite yet, Bryce. I'll give you confirmation to do it first. Uh, okay, we gotta make, we gotta make sure KC gets it over into the... Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Yeah. Nice and slow. Almost there. Alright. I think you guys uh, should be able to see it. I'm still moving it slowly over there because I don't want to accidentally hit anything. Alright. And. It is in position. Just verifying that real quick with. Yep. It is in position. Um, you guys can start your work. It'll it'll take quite a while for this whole process to go. So, all right, looks like we're getting a little small communications error. Uh, mic test, mic test. Can you hear me? All right, I said that. Uh, uh, I said that the. So you guys can see the airlock, or not airlock, sorry, the component that we're going to be attaching to the space station. And the components that we're attaching to the space station... Alright, can you hear me or not? Uh, yes. Alright, let's see if we had a small communications error. Alright, so... <laughs> Uh, so, you guys can see the airlock, it's within a position for us, or for you guys to start working on it. Um, uh -oh. and... Uh, not okay, airlock. see, really... Yeah, I, I understand what they're saying, because their mic's really laggy. Oh, it's fine now. All right, so here's the deal. All right, uh, so KCA, so you've lined it up with the docking port, just it's like out a bit. All right, great, great. All right, now Bryce, the next thing we have to do is Bryce has to, uh, Bryce has to maneuver himself to the other side of. Now, also, you guys will find all the tools you need for, um inside the sides of your chute. You'll find it, in order to, the tools you'll need to do this is you'll be equipped with a power you'll be equipped with a power um a a light pocket knife. Um and those are the two main tools that you'll be using during uh this instance. All right, Bryce, um, are you ready to start maneuvering over? All right, so on the side of Harmony, Bryce, you'll see on, you'll see a little, uh, you'll see where the, where your tether is connected to. It says, um, it'll say, you'll see a little knob that says, 
Now, in order to extend the time, we've got to switch that clockwise. And that will extend the tether. So just rotate it clockwise. Alright. And once you do that, you use the hand rest and go up go up the side of harmony go over the top and then drop down on the other side i am loose tape book for now once he's once he's on the other side emily you have to move up to the position where he was further up the mark. all right which should be easy to do so emily you got to do the same thing just not substantially all right now yeah just use the handrails to guide yourself also also it is starting to get a little bit dark outside as we're going um like as we're flying over the uh darker section of the earth that's not illuminated by the sunlight now you guys can't feel but um but you're currently in the current outside where you are is approaching negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah. Now you will actually see your, um, you will see your first, um, sunrise on a space set, on a, um, on a spacewalk soon. Because you actually are approaching, ISS's current position is, we're about to be over India. Um, we're currently over the Indian Ocean. Um, and so you guys will actually see. Um, uh, you guys will actually see the sun starting to rise off your right, off your right shoulder. Um, hold on, negative. Think about it like it's like 30 times colder than Antarctica. Hold on. Ah, uh, that's about 148 itself. Ah, uh, negative. And once you guys get into the sun, and once you guys get into the sun, once you guys or get. 73 69 <laughs> All right, Bryce, have you completed the move? All right. All right, now just wait there and Emily now you to Bryce's previous position. Just a couple feet up the mod. All right. And Emily, make sure to be careful to not obstruct Bryce's, um, Bryce's tether. Yeah. Alrighty. Just confirm once you've moved up to his position, Emily, and then we can go from there. Alrighty. Yeah, so you guys can no longer you guys no you guys can no longer see each other, which might feel a bit scary, but don't you guys are in good hands. We're, we're on our own up. How are we even doing the whole thing on our own? So. Um, yeah, because no one got on to do, there's really no one on right now. Alrighty. Alright, KCA, so, um, I'm now going to come back, to, I'm going to come back to Destiny now from Harmony, and do you mind if I actually take over control of the arm? Yeah. Alright. Actually, yeah.
Yeah, negative. Actually, you'd be great as Capcom, but however, right now, we're over a dead zone, which means that we're probably gonna be dead for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, something like that. We're dead. Alrighty. Alright. Yeah, I just want to take control over the Canada Arm 2 because I'm very international docking adapter. Mm -hmm. I know how it's gonna... Yeah. Uh, Alright, now... Gonna... Yeah. Alright, now, Kyle, you had... You had to harmony and keep watch. All right. All right. Thanks. All right, my uh, my space cr or my robotic arm. <laughs> my robotic arm. Mine. <laughs> All right. All righty. All right, I. Confirmed to. All right. Um. So, do you guys have your powered? So basically, this is how it's gonna. This is how it's gonna go. I'm going to currently. Um, Ida one is currently sitting. It's resting about five. Uh, about five feet from the docking port. Now I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, wrap itself around the docking port however it will not be in place i have to get the um i have to get the cor i have to get the placement perfect um otherwise it won't work so i'll put it into a, i'll put it into initial position and then after that you guys will have to go and using your power of there are a total of a hundred, a hundred drill spots wrapped around the, um, wrapped around but using your power drill, you act a hundred On his side, uh, um, and um, yeah. All right. And uh, you, you guys are light pocket knives. Um, you guys have these in the case that in the case that something goes wrong and it results in um. Uh, the adapter having to be um, uh, unplugged or detached without the help of the arm. You guys will actually have to use the, uh, the to manually cut this. Um, but yeah. complete this. You guys will then both be, we'll be doing the same process, but back, we'll be taking you back to the quest area where you will then and then you'll be headed to, um, you'll be then headed to the truss and the solar rays to begin initial repairs on that. Alrighty. Alright, uh, are you guys ready? Uh, please Stand clear of, uh, please stand clear of the adapter. I don't want either of you getting actually caught inside the adapter while I'm trying to uh, put it into the place. All About right. three minutes until we reestablish communications with the ground. All right, Roger. All right, I'm beginning the push for. Um, I need confirmation from the astronauts. Confirm that we're moving forward. Alrighty. Alright, I need you guys to measure my um, placement. On my camera, I'm looking pretty good. Except if I start to get off from the uh, port, you guys need to let me. Alright. We're moving forward at a rate of about one mile per hour. About one mile per hour. Um. Alrighty. And about three feet out. 
Alright, I'm slowing it down. Alright, so we're slowed down substantially. We're now moving in. We're now moving in at about 0.3 miles per hour. So, very slow. A very slow rate. Alright, two feet. Alright, we're two feet out. I'm stopping it. How are we looking? How is it looking? All right, and Bryce, how is it looking for me? All right, I'm gonna push it down to one. Doing so now. All right, how's it looking now? All right, pushing it down to half a foot. All right, Ida One is now half a foot from the port. All right, I'm gonna do the final push now. So is everything looking? All right, we're lined up. Bryce, how's it looking from your side? All right, all righty. All right, performing final push. Looking. I'm in Columbia right now. I'm looking out the window and I'm just watching you guys. Yeah. All right, everyone, you're gonna feel a slight. That's just that's just the vibration create the adapter pressing up against the. And for final push. Three, two, one. Okay. According to my camera. Uh, according to my camp, we have successful placement around the port. How's it? Alrighty. Alright. Kyle, did you hear that? We have successful placement. We have successful initial placement of the, um, the port. Roger. <clears throat> Alright, Kyle, our job's done here. Now, the true EVA operations start. About an hour 45 minutes after the start of the spacewalk, we're finally starting EVA operations. Roger that. Finally. Um, we'll be, we'll be here, and it looks right about now, uh, Houston to ground. All right, uh, I'll copy. Yeah. All right, Emily, Bryce, it's, it's time to, uh, it's time to get to work. You guys have your power drills out. Make sure not to lose them. Uh, you guys can extend your tethers as you need to, um, adjust them to whatever level you want. Um, Capcom, I'll copy over. Yeah. Just head out there and, uh, just head out there and start drilling. They're very, um, they're very small, um, placements. Uh, so each of you have 50 to do. It will total 100 placements. You guys are go to start when ready. So confirm when both of you start uh, start operations. Yeah, you guys are go. All right, go for it. <laughs> Houston to ground, how copy over? Or not? Sorry, not Houston. Station to ground, how copy over? All right, Kyle. I'm powering down Canadarm two. Um, Where did that? Where? I'm in Columbus if you need me. Alright, Roger. Alright. Alright, guys. I've just powered down Canada Arm 2 to prevent an accident um, replacement of the... Alright. Uh, so, Canada, Canada Arm 2 is now locked into place. So that's current position. Uh, Houston, this is Station. How copy over? Five by five. Roger that. We are proceeding with EVA-1 operations. Uh, Kyle, okay. in order, yeah. Kyle, in order to talk to Houston, you actually have to... The, I'm pretty sure the main comm system is actually in death. Oh. Wait, still? Yeah. Or... So... Yeah, so, so yeah, Kyle, I've... Uh, so, 
I guess you, you you head to Destiny to establish comms with Houston. You keep them updated, and I'll head to on uh, I'll head to Harmony to keep watch on the astronauts during their operations, and I'll keep in contact with the crew. Alrighty. Alright. So yeah. Alright. So then there. Um. Alright. We're looking pretty good. Um. The astronauts are currently doing their jobs. They started their. Job. Uh, Kyle's keeping tabs with Houston. I'm keeping tabs with the crew, and the crew of Expedition 58 is also going to be helping out around the state. Nick Haig is not too happy as he temporarily replaced Emily, and as soon as we got him into the air, Emily was then go again. So we actually had to. <laughs> Nick Haig spent like 20 minutes putting on this huge suit, and he got into the airlock, and then we had to take him back out. Well, whatever. Nick Hague will get his spacewalk later on. Gone. Yeah, but yeah, Nick Hague got scammed. <laughs> Nick Hague got scammed. All right, so Kyle's in Destiny. I'm in Harmony. Um, Nick Hague is helping me keep tabs on the crew. He's also in Harmony with me. Um, Anne is... Um, Anne is in Kaibo, keeping watch on the control of the Kaibo robotic arm and keeping watch and tabs on Dragon, and undock it, and then re and transport it over to allow access. Um, Kyle, Anne's, Anne's handling all operations with Dragon, and um, David, um, David is also in Destiny with you. Tabs on Canada Arm 2. Um, so yeah, that's what everyone's doing, uh, Houston. Copy and, that. Yeah. And just to run that through for myself again, so I can remember it. Astronauts are doing their jobs. I'm keeping tabs on the astronauts. Nick's helping me. Anne's monitoring Dragon and Kaibo and the Kaibo robotic arm. Um... And Casey is handling comms in Destiny, and David's modern Candarm 2 in Destiny. All right, Kyle, did you get all that, too? I did. All right. This is actually going... I'm not going to stay anything, because I might be... Because <laughs> oh, I don't want to... you ruined the electron launch. Oh, there goes negative. All right, Kyle, we just lost... Oh, roger that. <coughs> Run the communications dead zone again. What? Never mind. Dude, avoid the ISS. They have a ball um, of Earth, literally. I have no idea what you're saying. I said on it. I, I still don't know what to do. On the ISS, they have a ball, like a like a basketball that is colored like Earth. Nice. All right, so they've locked in. All right, so Bryce is onto his, and Emily's moving on to her. Oh, All yeah, right, I'm be moving over to the Japanese experiment module. I have, I still have no idea what you're saying. Your mic's so lag. Okay, we're going to Kaiba. Alright. So then you're headed to Kaiba with Anne. So wait, what are you gonna what are you gonna be doing in Kaiba? Uh Emily, if you can talk, you can unmute yourself. But yeah, you can unmute yourself. Sure. 
I'm actually in game on my ISS. It's looking pretty good. So am I. Dude, I can't wait till our spacewalk. It's gonna be so epic. Yeah, dude, our spacewalk is gonna be freaking crazy. <laughs> dude, this I'm surprised how like actually realistic um how how realistic the spacewalk is going. Yeah, dude, I can't believe I'm gonna be live. I can't believe I'm gonna be live streaming this for like freaking four hours. Yeah. Now, how quickly we actually finish installment of Idol um, <laughs> depends on how quickly and how efficiently the astronauts are working. I see. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys should be seeing a sunset. You bond to me. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Just um, actually, yeah, we just passed over into the um into the bright zone. So yeah, uh, you guys have witnessed your first EVA sunrise. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright. <laughs> they have so many to run through. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, after this, well actually once they come back to Quest Casey, they'll get their they'll get cameras and so they can take their they can take their space self. Nice. Yeah. Here, I'm actually gonna get a picture up of what um I got. I got the IMAX camera on Destiny KC, so I'm actually gonna take a picture of that. Alrighty. All right. They won't be able to see it, but I'm gonna. They'll see it once they come back in. Alright, I'm gonna take a picture of both of them individually. Alright, here's a picture of Bryce. I just snapped his okay, stage, check this one out. <laughs> He's looking pretty. Nice. Ew, what happened to the bottom of the. Did oh, you see that? Dude, what do you do? What the heck happened to the bottom of. Do you see how it goes like static y? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, never mind. If you just click on it, it goes back to normal. Here, all I'm gonna. Alright. Bam, Bryce is looking really. I wanna move over to the other side so I can get one of Emily. Here, Emily's like right in front of me. Check this one out, KC. Okay, this is Emily. I don't know what she's. It looks like she. She was like out. I don't know. I think she might have been moving.
All right, they're about ten in. Bryce is. So I think Emily won AFK. All right, we'll just. <laughs> All right. You're in a lot of. <laughs> oh, God. Am I going to bring your keyboard? Hey, Emily, if you're not going to. Uh, so loud. That's okay. Alright, Kyle, how are you doing in Kaido? Or Kaibo? Very good. Alright. Alright, Kangaroo. Um, we're currently in the middle of our first EVA on Emily and Bryce on the first EVA. So, uh, what are you doing in, um, Kaibo? Cause... Actually, mostly I'm just watching them outside. Oh. I don't think they're any win. Oh. No. Yeah, right now I'm also looking at, uh, outside, like, at Earth, too. What? I said I'm also enjoying the view. Actually, have a point. <laughs> what? But then I, I didn't actually take the. I attached um, the Kaibo robotic arm. That's so. I, that's how I got outside shots of them because the yeah, it doesn't have any wind. Or technically, it doesn't a deer. 
which is where the port is. So yeah, I technically I guess I did actually get an outside shot or it's an yesterday video. This is the note to on the other side of this space. There is a vacuum, and you some light coming through it. So I'm just kidding. Um, it's the standard birthday location for visiting. Like, uh, yeah, Emily, we did post. Here, I'll read the post. We're about this, one this hour about and 40 minutes into it. our spacewalk. This is a good one. And here, his, his picture got a little at the, the end, or at the very bottom. Well, you're supposed to look fat in the suit. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming in the Kaibo with you. Roger that. All right. Hey. Hey. What's up? Uh, man, like, it's beautiful here. Uh, are you actually looking at Kaibo from the ends? No, no, I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm not actually. I should probably go take a look from the inside. Actually, that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I can actually be needed. We're still just hang right. hanging out. So, it's been 19 minutes and 21 seconds in EVA operations. We have, in total, we're currently about 1 hour and 40 minutes into our EVA out of 3 hours and 30 minutes of total time. I have no idea. Just so but, um... But, uh, I... What do we... One hour and 45 minutes of the EVA. As we start, it's now 8.05. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, they're getting there, Casey. They're not 20. I think I spent a little uh, um, start this um, one hour or six minutes and started about 21 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. All right, so Emily, on her 23rd, and is on to his 21st. Roger that. How many total do they have to do? Uh, uh, 50. 50? Nice. Totaling, a, totaling 100. They're locking in a total of 100 bolts um, all the way around. Here. Those basically um the bolts drill down through the surface of the adapter drill down through the surface and then the lock in to interior adapter on the docking port itself get into place so it's 100 bolts all the way around, um and once all a 100 lock uh, the thing will be fully secure, and then it will only be. Then we'll take it from. Uh, we'll take it from, or, or then they'll have to extra on it, and then, then we'll have to then dock it down, down to. The Yeah, I'm available. I'm available at hours. Um, before I have to go, or oh, actually, I can probably 
it's I, I, I can talk. Come. Alright. <clears throat> Wait, so are you gonna finish this, uh, spacewalk, like, being able to voice chat, or is it gonna be, like, you're, you're gonna have to, like, be text chatting? I, I'm, I have two more hours, and then I have to get off to, I have to get off to voice chat. I see. Mm -hmm. Thirty and twenty. All right, Roger, Emily. All right, Kyle, I'm to temperature to 71. All right, Kyle, I'm to temperature to 71. I said I'm to temperature to 71. Emily and Bryce are currently on SWAT, and, and we are in Athens into the space walk. It started twenty, started uh, about twenty. Um, they're currently locking the eye after down onto um, the Nadir dock on the Harmony module. Otherwise known as Node or no Southern International Space Station. Yeah, Southern International Space Station. This is uh, the first view of the mission. Um, well, it's a uh, good uh, Yeah, and then late actually on Christmas Eve, Case Day and I will be doing um, our EVA video. Interesting. Yeah. So the mission is so far. Far they have 50 bolts each before they can finish the port, and then they can wrap, and then they'll be be transported back up to some more transported back by quest and repairs on. All right. On the International Space Station crew, uh, these two are part of the space. Um, Station Fifty are, are helping with here of the stage. Current. Okay. Yeah, this is just the EVAs during the shuttle mission. There will be two EVAs. Station Fifty Eight will these. Yeah. So okay. as you can, uh, you'll see there. Stuff and that, whatever number, turn to bolts, power drills, drill bolts down into the and down through the docking. Uh, I, uh, yeah, but, those, um, I mean, the, the, the spacesuit, I don't think they have an exhibit, but the aviation you see. Of it's quite hard to maneuver, so. Oh, yeah, these, uh, um, these suits weigh pounds, uh, so heavy that 
people without getting crushed under their own weight. Oh yeah, unless you're some body builder or something. I don't think, think there, there would be would need to do. And uh, here, here are the pictures that I here are the pictures that I snapped from outside. Uh, the, uh, of, Nice. The, Which one is Bryce? The one on the. Box. Who is Bryce? He's Air. Air. Oh. Um. Yeah. Hey, but people watching everyone's. Some keys. Sorry. Actually, uh, um, the Canadian David Saint Josh yeah. not uh, on expedition. He's currently monitoring. He's monitoring. Uh, um, monitoring Canada Arm Two because Canada Arm Two is currently the uh, adapter down into the tent. That's nice. So now we're. Oh yeah, yeah. Canada Arm Two is actually. Canada arms are the most controlled artifact in space. In space. Mm. I wonder if it's just for reading. For like a future. Um, that's not. Canada arms on the gateway, but. Yeah, they I, mean, have I mean, if they. Like, what they're doing now, it would. You know. Yeah, Luke's be a monster. Although, so, it, it'll be beginning to come up, up with kind of boots on the moon first with, with the stars. Uh, well, they. they Ryan. Ryan. No, oh, Ryan. And, uh, which. It's being built by Lockheed Martin. And I felt. Right. Well, so the thing in. No, sorry. Okay. Right. Falcon Heavy might be one of the things they use at one point. A couple of the launches are being launched through commercial. Them are being launched on the Alright. Yeah. 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 I, I'm sure like Captain and Emily are and he's right now. I mean, in RCF, I RP Captain of Molly, and it's now in. Hospital after now doing some space work to, yeah. to, to show what a, a, a bright place. Oh, that makes no sense. GOFSRP, he's in I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of too. Yeah. Oh, no, it's I, not. I it's both. I mean, in GOF. I, I'm just, just, North Bay at the same time in Toronto, in time at the UN headquarters in New York. Or you this, can't. Yeah. This is a part of. Well, this is kind of a part of. It's not as associated with you, but. So yeah. Officially, are both in space on the. Mm. Alright. I mean, it can be. I guess that are kind of if you have to like choose between. Um, named your launch. Um, I named it D from um the, the it's called D N D L one. It's the Department of National Defense. Um, the Canadian. You know this chat is being live streamed, so you might not want to talk about GOFS payloads. Um, but yeah, so, damn it, I hope, I hope to see you up here one. Uh, you know, you know what, I want to, I'm just, I, like you said, I mean, yeah, I, but, well, I, I get on back, back in here, I don't know, it's just, it, the, the process of a tail. So, what, what does, uh, like, doing the launch, like, at least a couple of hours before. Launching. Or, well, 
as an astronaut, like, this, it takes, like, I believe it's about three. Oh, that's when it opens, but, um, but, yeah, I understand. Extremely, extremely, you're extremely busy with the RC. And, and it's that and it's IR. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. sort of, yeah, it sort of, like, prevents you from doing mm -hmm. Well, you know, it, uh, I mean, um, well, I, my math, I, I have a professor and that I have to play homework every night once I move in the next lot for years, so. Yeah. something. Yeah. Along the mission. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. What? How long is a uh, space shuttle? Usually. It is S S137 is a 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So most of most shuttle missions range from 13 days. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, you actually, well, you were originally the um the earlier one. Yeah, pilot of L. Um, so yeah, you were the one once, so you actually, um, you were you have a great pilot of a shuttle, um, but, exactly, yeah, yeah, um, just, um, yeah, just, yeah, just keep that in mind, if, just, all you basically, because, um, you can get, you can, up, position shuttle mission without barely doing anything because you're right yeah. anyway you know what it's still probably gonna still be around in like a month i'll do i'll do it then emily's almost done exams in a month she's moving oh, yeah. fast Good. Oh. oh she's on 49 yeah. Looks like Bryce is okay. slow. I, yeah. <laughs> what? Isn't this so? Like we were, we're probably the most recent. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're extremely we're probably we're going like right. insane. We're going fast. We're going. Fast. Any than before in GOF. I mean, for God's sake, we're at least in my city, AF is older than is larger than the large on GOF. So, I mean, I guess in, in terms of number, yeah. like, yeah. we've been around since the yeah, fast thing, and, and just the one the, the original GeoFest military was sort of oh, is it, it what even happened? The US Navy, um, once it, it was like there for a little, little bit and then it just went just either you could maintain a UFS. I have I've not that many trolls, US Navy, so. It looks like both like, like you. are wrapping up with uh, yeah. doing the first 50. Yeah. Well, didn't like, like just do a fast, and I would. Yeah. 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 I know. Long myself is. Um. Because. I can convert years, or I can come up. Meaning, I I, I ranked up the service being ten, 10 years, and so to, I tried to figure out, and I think I are. I don't, know, I, I don't tend to. I don't tend to um, usually yeah. deal with my, do my job and get promoted when I. Yes. And both so astronauts I'm have finished their work. 
What will be the next so task? Oh yeah, hold on. <laughs> so basically, the role, Cam, the role of command master chief petty officer. It's the petty officer in the navy. Right. Yeah. So that's what I consider myself, and I did in the U.S. Navy. So you went from the oh, second no. highest to the second. You went from the second highest commission rank to the lowest. See that? Yeah, yeah, the highest and lowest right. rank. Fair enough. I mean, that's basically a ceremonial. Right. What yeah. will be the uh, next task of the now, As I was saying, you can just it's been done. A U.S. Air Force? I don't know. Hold on, wait. Yeah, yeah I got to get back to this. All right. One, one thing to add was I actually wanted to I had I've had a for um to establish the just to do like a role play. but like fully going by realist rules real time it's honest to you to it and you can do it but that's yeah. your choice. Good job. Did we finish it? Yeah, they finished. Oh. Wait, so at least got to this. This got to this. Yeah. Fifty-five. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, fifty-five and forty-five. As, all right. Objective one of easy is finished. All right. Okay, right, say so we gotta get back to work now. All spectators, please meet yourselves. Thank you. All right. All right, astronauts. Uh, you guys can put your you guys can put your tools away. Um, Bryce, uh, Emily, you you move back a couple of feet to your original position, and Bryce, you maneuver yourself back over to uh, to meet up with Emily and on the other. And we're approaching our T our T plus two hour mark of our spacewalk. I have no idea what you're saying, KC. But <laughs> I said we're approaching our two hour mark of our spacewalk. Yeah. All right, KC, can you resume control over Canada's and Jacks? Yes, yeah, stand by. Okay, I don't know what you said, but, uh... All right. All right. So, astronauts confirm that I'm... Confirm that the adapter is fully bold. Sorry, I'm back. I got in a call, but I'm all right. Um, so, so confirm that the adapter um, successfully port and down into the interior lock. All right. So it is secure. All right. Um, Kyle, uh, uh, do you have? Um... Yeah, I got control. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Is your mic so laggy? Oh my god. Alright. I said, uh, yeah. I'm there. Alright, now, Kyle, you're good to detach the adapter. According to the astronaut, um, the adapter is locked into position. So you're good to detach Canada 2 from the adapter and maneuver it back. Except you're gonna have to power the system back. Yeah, I'm powering it on now. Alright. So just don't don't return it to quest. Just bring it. Just kind of detach. All right.
Uh, the EST is eight. Right. All right, Canada Arm and is eight. fully have, online. Yeah, we have about an hour twenty hours in our scheduled space. All right, now we have to do this very quickly, okay? But all right, now okay. So have we detached? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, astronauts, does everything look All right. All right. Good, good job, everyone. We succeeded. I don't. All right. Ready. Now, um, now we now we have to enter objective two of uh, starting repairs on the trust and solar. All right. Um. Bryce was the first one down here, so he'll be the first back. Um, Emily, if you're fine with that, right? And unless you guys, which one of you want to come back to quest for? Um, so, okay, so today, the next part of the objective, you have to, you have to use Canada to to get both astronauts to um to the the trust section by quest. With a stop over at Quest. Yeah, I'm moving into the I'm moving to the uh, 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 control station. All right, Bryce is going first, so just you maneuver by him, and he'll lock his to the. Um... Wait, what do you mean you bring him back by the control station? Oh, yeah. oh, uh... <coughs> oh, oh my God! All right. Um... All right, so confirm when you have power, uh, Canada on to. All right, yep, Canada on is online. I'm at the control station. All right, Roger. All right, now Bryce is going first, so just maneuver it over towards Bryce and stop it a couple. Roger that. We're moving it over to Bryce. All right, Bryce, are you ready to um, hook up with Canada on two for trans? All right. It's your point now. Yeah. All right, we got an hour and thirty minutes to do this. So get our game on. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna be starting to move him out to the trust. No, no, no. You're Wait. gonna wanna. Here, I'm getting the supplies ready right now. You're initially bringing him back to the west. Oh. And right. um. Yeah. So you're bringing you're bringing both of them back to Quest, um, where they'll be, then be handed over supplies, and, and then you're transporting them up to the far side truck. Alrighty. All right. All right, Bryce. We're gonna start moving. Uh, actually, first, uh, have you detached your tether from the harmony module? Alright, yeah, Bryce, so you detach your tether. Alright, Bryce. Alright, B. Alright, so, so we're good. Alright, just, just maneuver it in a little bit. All right. Um, all right. All right, Kyle. We uh, Bryce to that. Bryce that. Moving him back to Quest. Yeah. All right. Now Bryce at Quest. You're gonna um, you're gonna do the same thing um, as we were doing earlier. So you're basically gonna you're gonna get up onto the platform at Quest. You're not gonna be tethering in. You're just gonna be holding on like you were earlier for a couple of minutes there at Quest. All right, uh, Kyle. I'm gonna start getting the supply bags ready. Roger that. Bryce is now uh, just a few feet away from Quest. All right. And after you deliver Bryce, you have to go back and do the same thing with Emily. Emily. 
Emily, if I were you, I'd start untethering right about now. And start getting ready. Alright. Alright, I'm just retrieving the supply bags from Leonardo, Kyle. Oh no, you don't want to tell yourself to quest. Just detach from it and just hold on to quest. Yeah. Because you're not perm you're only staying at quest for a very brief period of time, so you don't want to tell yourself. Alright. I'll let you guys do that. Alright, I got the I got the supply bags. They're a bit bulky. But we'll be able to uh We'll do it. All right, Kyle. I'm bringing. I'm bringing the supply bags over to Quest. All right. I believe Emily is untethered herself. Please put your feet into the arm and tell me when you're done so I can move you over to Quest so you can pick up the supplies. Alright, Roger that. Moving Emily back to Quest. You can see, uh, you can see Quest, like, right in front of you. There's a handrail that, uh, uh, Bryce is holding onto. Join in with him and grab onto the handrail so you can detect yourself from the arm. Alright, Bryce, I'm getting your supply bag ready. Emily, are you here? Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to stay on the outside of Quest with Bryce. Um, you're going to be the one to retrieve both supply bags, okay? So we're actually going to be taking you back into the airlock. Alright, um, Emily, you can see that Quest is uh, very close to you. Grab onto the handrail that Bryce was holding onto so you can detach yourself from the arm. Alright, Bryce, maneuver yourself to the top handrail looking over the um, over the hatch. And Emily's now on the side of the module. Alright, Emily, stay put right where you Alrighty. Alright, I'm uh alright, I just depressurized the interior hat. Alright, I'm putting both supply bags into the airlock of Alrighty. Closing the uh closing the interior hatch. 
Um, all right, interior hatch is closed. Interior hatch is pressure. All right. So basically, Bryce, I'm, they're going to be going through the airlock. The exterior hatch is going to open. Um, and after that, um, you will be going into the uh, You'll be going into the airlock um, and retrieving them and then bringing them back. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, uh, so we're good to go. Alright, I'm gonna start dropping the airlock. Roger that. I'll be on standby to, um, the, uh, to, uh, have, uh, wait, who are you gonna, who's gonna go first to the trust? Alright, um, hold on, wait, Emily needs to, yeah, Emily, just stay put where you are because of the supply bag. Alright. No idea what's going on in the chat, but alright. Alright, cap, uh, alright, um, Airlock is fully depressurized. Roger that. All right, I'm gonna be opening up the exterior hatch now. Um, Emily, Bryce, stay cautious of the opening of the exterior hatch. All righty, exterior hatch is coming open. Bryce confirmed when exterior hatch fully retracted. I, um, I guess we'll transport uh, Bryce first because he has all the supplies. Then we'll come back around and uh, get you on the way. Is that all right? All right. Now, Bryce, I want you to uh, maneuver yourself into the airlock and retrieve both supply bags. We'll, we'll send you first to the trust, so that, because you have all the supplies, then we'll come back around and get Emily. Alright. Now, Emily, get ready to grab your supply bag. I'm gonna bring it out. Now, these supply bags are pretty bulky. You can um, clip them and um, buy your waistline on your... Um, these bags contain a variety of working tools, wrenches, different, different types of bolts, um, some replacement rods, um, they're pretty, these bag, these supply bags are jammed with working tools in order to start the repairs on Yeah. Alright, now Emily, you come around the side of the hatch and also... Alright. Alright, and we just confirm when you're inside the airlock. Alright. Now, Bryce, you had... Alright, so, um, now both of you guys take your supply bags, um, and clip them, clip them into, um, the clips on your suits. Uh, advise when you've both, um, attached the supply bags to your Alright, and Emily? Alrighty, since Emily's at the front of the door, uh, or excuse me, since Emily's at the front of the air, go first. Um, Who's going first? Emily, because she's at the All front right. of the air. Alright, Emily, All right. uh, first. Alright, so Emily, Grab onto the airlock and so you can sort of sit down and sort of hang your feet off the side like swimming pool. Um, and in case they just, I would move up and yeah. just attach. Yeah. Yeah. If it's good. Yeah. All right. And then Bryce, you just hang back until that happens. Um, and then you you do the same thing. Uh, okay. So, okay, so you want to take her out to the, the second solar 
on we're going out to the second side of the station. On the same side of the station. Roger that, we'll do. Alright. Just confirm when you guys are uh, attacked. Alright, her feet are attached. I'm gonna start moving her very gently. I don't want to accidentally hit, uh, hit her spacesuit on the edges of the uh, of the airlock. I'll start to move her out to the uh, second solar panel, as you said. Alright, so we're gonna go nice and slowly. Alright, about, about maybe a quarter of the way out. Oh, wait, so Emily's at the train. Wait. Okay, so I don't know what you're saying. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, so yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess Emily's already at the truss. Um, uh, uh alright, I'm gonna, I'm not entirely sure what he said. Um, Emily, I got the... All right. Um, all right. Now, Emily, uh, off to your left, you'll see another tether. Just uh, strap into that. All right. Now, Casey. Yeah, a bit. All right. Now, let's do the same with Bryce. Now, Bryce, just go to the edge of the airlock and hang your feet to give Casey a better angle. All righty. Also, a lot of. We're looking pretty good. Alrighty. All right, sounds good. And now you do the same. You get to once you get there, Bryce. Uh, go to the nearest Tessin to the trust. Okay, so your mic is for All right, is he at the tr Bryce? You at the trust? Because I don't know what Casey is doing. All right. 